India has sought assistance from Switzerland in probe of Swiss bank accounts of Congress leader Pranit Kaur and her son Raninder Singh. As per the Swiss norms for assistance in tax matters, which could involve sharing of accounts and other details, the Federal Tax Administration of Switzerland also asked Kaur and Singh to file an appeal within 10 days for exercise of the right to be heard. Prime Minister Narendra Modi holds bilateral dialogue with his Singapore counterpart Lee Siang Lung. He also calls on President of Singapore Tony Kengyam. On day two of his Singapore visit, the Prime Minister will interact with business leaders, address people of Indian community and deliver a special address at India-Singapore Economic Convention later in the day. Earlier, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was given a grand ceremonial welcome. India and Singapore today signed 10 key agreements and MOUs. These include joint declaration on strategic partnership, agreement on defence cooperation, agreement on sharing white shipping information, agreements on cooperation in the fields of art, heritage, archives and library. The five MOUs in the field of civil aviation, planning, capacity building, urban planning and governance, cyber security and cooperation to combat illicit trafficking in narcotics drugs. BJP has won the Thangmeh Band Assembly seat and the Thonju seat in Manipur. Meanwhile, Congress wins Azal North 3 Assembly seat and TRS is leading in Warangal Lok Sabha seat in Telangana. Centre has sanctioned 940 crore rupees financial aid to rain hit Tamil Nadu and central team also being deputed to the affected areas in the state to assess the extent of damages. All schools, colleges shut following intermittent heavy rain. Ahead of the winter session, Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan has written a letter to all members saying she expected acceptable decorum from them in the House as many times decency is thrown to the winds following difference of opinion over issues. Her letter to the MPs comes amidst anticipation that the upcoming session of Parliament beginning on November 26 could be stormy. Four militants were killed on Monday in two separate encounters in Kashmir Valley. Three militants were killed in an encounter in Anantanag and another one was killed in Kupwara district. Meanwhile, an army jawan was martyred in a ceasefire violation by Pakistan in Lam sector of Naushera in Jammu and Kashmir. A local court in Mumbai on Monday extended the custody of Peter Mukherjee till November 26 in the Sheena Bora murder case. During hearing, the CBI told the court that financial transaction was the motive behind Sheena Bora's murder. A latest report has revealed that the Islamic State considers Indian recruits inferior to Arab fighters. According to an intelligence report prepared by foreign agencies and shared with Indian agencies, fighters from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh as well as certain countries like Nigeria and Sudan are considered not good enough and often tricked into suicide attacks. The report said a total of 23 Indians have so far joined the IS, of which six were reportedly killed in different incidents. The United States has issued a worldwide travel alert warning American citizens of increased terrorist threats in the wake of Paris attacks. A massive manhunt is underway in France and Belgium for Belgian-born Salah Abdeslam, suspected of playing a role in the coordinated shootings and suicide bombings of 13th November, claimed by Islamic State group. A suicide vest has been found in Paris, raising possible link to suspect. The device was found in the same area where a cell phone belonging to fugitive suspect Salah Abdeslam was located. Meanwhile, Brussels will keep unprecedented security measures in place for at least another week as it faces imminent and serious threat of a major terrorist attack. France President Hassan Rouhani said after talks in Tehran with his Russian counterpart Radhamir Putin on Monday that Tehran was seeking greater cooperation with Moscow on security issues. The countries have stepped up ties with Iran following a landmark nuclear deal in July between Iran and six world powers including Russia and the United States. Nearly 690 million of the world's 2.3 billion children live in areas most exposed to climate change, facing higher rates of death, poverty and disease from global warming. In a report, UNICEF said almost 530 million children live in countries hardest hit by high floods and tropical storms, mostly in Asia. And an additional 160 million kids are growing up in areas suffering severe droughts, mostly in Africa. German auto giant Volkswagen, mined in a massive emissions cheating scandal, had said it has found technical solutions for more than 90% of the vehicles affected in Europe. The car maker has admitted to fitting 11 million diesel engines worldwide with sophisticated software fitted to skew the results of tests for nitrogen oxide emissions.